Testing, testing, one, two, and the trois. Okay, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything in relation to the metaverse today. Very, very exciting video, as we're going to talk about the HP Reverb G2 V2 improvements, including more specifically for today's video, the gasket, which enables you to control and choose your field of view. It is amazing. But first, guys, talking about the HP Reverb G2, do you remember that we are giving away a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP and also brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station, the cyber carpet, the cyber chair, everything that goes with it. And of course, a third winner will get a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against your Oculus Metal Quest store, Viveport or Steam DR store. Link in the description below and do be part of the notification squad as you potentially could be notified as the winner. So make sure to hit that bell after you hit the subscribe button. So guys, today, very exciting as we're here to talk about the gasket on the HP Reverb G2. Now on the version one, as you all know, this is basically the gasket that came out, which is here, this one here. So it's completely standard. There's no, you know, nothing going on here. In fact, the only way to improve the gasket at that moment in time was to go to the VR covers website to purchase their gasket, which can come off. And they use a nice PU leather, of course. So this is good, especially if you're doing events and all these kind of things, or you have some friends. You just want to be able to wash it as fast as possible. And they come in different sizes. So here's another one like so. And by the way, do if you go to the VR Covers website, please go to the link description below, uh, where you know we get a little kickback, so you get to support the channel if you purchase this. So today we're talking about, of course, the version, the HP Reverb G2 version 2. So what I found when I got the uh, version 2, let me just put this down very quickly first. There we go. Is that when I got the HP Reverb version 2, which is this one here, if we just take out the gasket, Basically, I wasn't aware of this. And for those who've been watching the last few videos on the channel, do go and check out the other videos with the unboxing and also the graphic differences and all these kind of things between the G2 V1 and G2 V2. You will know that I was like, hey, what is this thing? This is very peculiar. What is it for? Well, of course, it's a spacer, which is designed for those who are wearing glasses. Because the last thing that you want, for example, if you have the glasses here, here they are. The last thing that you want when you're wearing a VR headset with your glasses, you don't want the glasses to touch the actual lenses themselves. Why? Well, you're going to damage your lenses. It's really that simple, to be honest with you. Um, now, the other thing is, if you're using, uh, where I'm going to show you what it looks like in terms of my own personal feeling in just a moment. I'm going to go inside of Steam VR and show you exactly the differences that I feel with the spacer and without the spacer. So do bear with me for a moment. If you're using the HP Reverb G2 version 2 with the spacer on your actual uh, gasket, so if I was just to put it on. Now, first of all, it's completely magnetic, guys. So the magnets fit on here, the actual gasket here and here, and also the one here and the one here as well. So all you do is it goes very simply like so, and then you just put the VR headset, I mean, the gasket inside the VR headset as you would with, you know, the normal, normal HP Reverb. There's no difference there, no difference whatsoever. Now, someone was asking me if you can fit the actual HP Reverb G2 uh, version 1 gasket in the V2. Well, let me show you. Yes, you can. This is the version 1 gasket that doesn't have the spacer on it. This is the V2 headset. And boom, that's it. Very simple. It's there. It fits just, now, just as nice. No problem. So if you do upgrade, yes, you can use it. And I re recommend, in fact, that you use... This is one of the differences. Uh, I do recommend also that you use the, uh, if, if you can, of course, if you're wearing glasses or something, if you use the G2 version 1, the nose part here is actually the way, because the mousse is thicker and the nose, I don't know, it just, it's more round. It's not, I will show you in just a minute, but basically, although they look similar, if I just put them side by side, 
It does look very similar. However, I feel that this part here, now it's very possible that the V1, of course, took the shape of my face because the V2 at the moment feels a little bit more wider, which means that I can actually see a little bit more gap when I look down like that. So if I look like this and I look towards my nose, I will see a gap. But when I'm looking straight towards, I don't see any light coming in whatsoever. It is miles ahead of any any other VR headset that I have tried in the past, including the Quest 1, which I don't have anymore, the Oculus Go, which I don't have anymore, uh, the Pico Neo 3, the, Nick, the Pico Neo 2, and also the Pico Neo 3 Pro, and also the DP VR headset, which I used to have, uh, which I have also. So, you know, it's milestones way better. However, compared to the uh, compared to the, the, the V1, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but the mousse is not as thick. So I don't know if you can see, if the camera can focus, there we go. The mousse is not as thick. Now it's possible that also is because there's been some time and this part here has actually expanded. I, I would need to go and watch, rewatch the video that I posted about 13, 14 months ago when I did the original unboxing of the G2, HP Reverb G2 version one. So this is very simple, it just comes off and boom, it goes on. Now when you put it on, it will be exactly the same FOV, field of view, as those who are wearing the previous HP Reverb G2 Completely the same. So if you have specs or you're wearing the inserts, which is basically the um, VR-Wave.store lens prescription inserts, it will be exactly the same. And by the way, there's also a link description below. You can get 5% off if you purchase this using the promo code VR Essentials. They're extremely amazing. Now on the V2, as I mentioned in the previous video, they don't actually change the everything fits absolutely completely fine. However, for those who wear specs, you will not be able to, uh, if you're wearing, sorry, the VR Wave prescription lens adapters, you need to keep this on because if you don't, what's gonna happen is, if I just take one of the inserts, what's gonna happen is that your eye is going to touch the actual insert itself. Okay, you need to know that the eye will touch the insert. It will not be comfortable whatsoever for you. So you need to, uh, let me just put it on again. You will definitely need to, to basically use, um, you're going to need to use basically the, the, the spacer. If you plan to use the lens adapters, you're gonna have to put it on, I'm afraid. It's just the way it is. So your field of view, instead of being 100 or 110, I can't remember exactly, sorry, uh, will be slightly less, but you know, it doesn't really matter. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put on the spacer as is, we're gonna jump into VR and I'm gonna give you my thoughts. So let me just put on again the, uh, there we go, put that on. And I'm going to take off it should be able to fit, it should be okay. You can just do it like this, in fact. There we go. All right, and let me just transition over very quickly. Do remember guys that we're doing a giveaway with the brand new HP Reverb G2, and also the cyber, gaming, cyber chair with the gaming station and everything, and a 50 US dollar voucher to your favorite gaming VR apps, or VR gaming apps. So here you go, so I'm inside now. For me right now at the moment, I can see of course a little tunnel vision on the side of my VR headset. However, it doesn't feel, you know, I'm, I'm using the VR Wave lens prescri prescription adapters and also I don't, I have the spacer on the actual headset at the moment. So I'm not super, super ultra close I mean, my eyes are not touching the, 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 the lenses. I would say that my eyes are maybe 0.5 mm or 1 cm away from the actual lenses, okay? So pretty much normal uh, considering if you have an HP Reverb G2 version one, then you know exactly what I mean. So it's fine, the comfort is absolutely good. Everything's fine. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna remove, uh, let me just transition over once more. There we go. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the spacer. So of course, what I have to do is remove the uh, vr-wave.store lens prescription adapters. 5% discount, guys. Link in the description below if you want to get them. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is, of course, I'm going to remove the spacer also. So no spacer. And now I'm going to put them in. Put the... Uh... Sorry. Put the, put the gasket in. <laughs> and now I'm going to try again. But this time, I'll be much closer to the actual lenses. So let's see the difference. All right, I'm putting the headset on. Oh yeah. Yeah, much, much closer to the action. Of course, it looks blurry for me because uh, I'm not wearing the lens prescription adapters anymore, but I can actually feel my, uh, what do you call them um, in English? Uh, I, I feel my, my uh, eyelids, <laughs> sorry, eyelashes. I feel my eyelashes touching the actual glass. Uh, the other thing that feels different for me is that I can kind of see my nose. Does that make sense? Like, like I feel, I feel like when I'm when I'm away, I feel more. Like I I can feel something. I can feel like there's something in the middle. Um, I, I think it's my nose or the gasket or something. I don't know. It just maybe. It just it, it's just different for me, you know. I'm I'm more used to being away, a little bit away, further away, but I definitely feel like I'm more immersed. And also the sides, uh, they're definitely much they're further. I wouldn't say much more further apart, but they're definitely further apart uh, compared to you know when I'm not when I have the spacer on. So by having the spacer off, I definitely feel. Like there's more field of view for sure. I definitely feel like I'm more inside of the action. Uh, not by, I would say, you know, tremendously like 50% more, but it definitely I would say a good 5 to 10% more of field of view. Uh, it's something I would have to get used to. And of course, because I'm not wearing glasses and I can't really see, it's a little bit blurry for me. I guess my experience would be different to someone who can see completely clearly inside and perhaps, for example, seeing something like in the middle a little bit. Uh, I would say basically what I can see is like the both lenses joining. I think that's what it, that's what I was trying to say. So it doesn't feel like I'm looking at one continuous lens. It feels like I'm actually looking, uh, you know, uh, to it, it inside of two individual lenses that are separated and then I can kind of see I don't know, the two lenses joining. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. But when I'm wearing the spacer, so let me just take off the headset again. There we go. Let me transition over. All right. So when I wear the spacer again, then this time I'm not going to wear the uh, VR Wave uh, prescription adapters because I want to, to, to have the same kind of feeling. So it looks a bit blurry to me. So I just put it back on. So now I have the spacer. So remember, without the spacer, it looks like this. And with the spacer, it looks thicker, right? So I'm going to put the spacer back on. There we go. And then you just tuck this, by the way. So let us uh, let me transition over. And then let me just get rid of this. There we go. So, yeah, now, now that I'm further away, to me, it feels more like I'm looking through one specific lens and not two lenses that are joining in the middle. If that makes any sense to you, I'm not quite sure if that makes sense to you, but only those of a G2 V2, I think will understand what I mean. Or those who have a special gasket that enables them to add additional field of view will understand what I mean. But having this spacer for me, even without the lens pres prescription adapters or glasses, just feels much better, much more clear, even though it is true that on the side, it is a little bit more tunnel vision by about 5%, I will say. But to me, it is more what I'm used to and it just feels much better for me. So, but anyway, the good thing is that you do have the option to remove it. So let me just get rid, uh, bring back the, the thing again. There we go. Let me transition over. So the good thing is that you have the option to remove it. And for you, for, for those who don't mind, maybe you, you won't have this, 
uh, this thing where, let me use the lens prescription adapters to show you exactly what I mean. So uh, when I wear, let's just imagine that these are the lenses from the actual VR headset, okay? So, and it will be like this. So when I wear the uh, the VR headset with with uh, without with without the spacer, it's very much like this, right? So I can actually kind of see the frames or, or the lens part, this part here, the lens part from both sides joining together. So it doesn't feel like I'm 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 looking through one continuous piece of glass. So if we just imagine this is a a piece of glass, right? It doesn't feel like I'm 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 looking through something like this that is continuous. It makes me feel like I'm looking through something that is broken where there's a space in between, but it's shoved really close to my eyes. So that's what I'm trying to say. However, when I'm wearing the spacer, I feel like I'm looking through something like this, which means I do not see anything in between at all. It feels like I'm looking through one continuous piece of glass. So that's basically what I'm trying to explain to you and hopefully I'm able to convey that to you. So now I just want to do one last test. I have the spacer on. Spacer is on, okay? I'm gonna put it back into, inside the headset and I'm gonna wear my glasses, okay? Just to show you the difference. So I'm gonna put my glasses on this time and then I'm gonna transition uh, over once more, okay. Transition, let me get rid of this. Okay, there we go. Bring this up. Now my glasses, no problem, they fit inside. By the way, I have no issues, it's absolutely okay. Now my glasses are not touching, I repeat, they are not touching the lenses at this moment in time. And everything is clear for me. Everything is good, I just need to adjust my IPD a little bit. There we go. But everything looks really good, really clear. Everything is awesome with the spacer on. And let me just show you what it looks like if I leave my glasses inside so you understand. Let me just put them in so that I can show you. Let me just uh, transition over quickly. There we go. And then let me just put my glasses inside so you kind of understand what I mean. And I will show you. So my glasses are about, they're about uh, 50 mm. My glasses are about 50 mm from the actual lenses when I wear the headset, okay? They're not touching the lenses. So the lenses are safe. They're not going to risk being scratched by my glasses, okay? With the spacer on. Now, if I take off the spacer, just to show you. So the spacer is off. It's here. I'm putting in it, putting the, the gasket without the spacer. Don't attempt this at home, guys. I'm going to put my glasses back on. Let's transition over again. Let me get rid of that. Now, I'm going to put the headset on again. Without the spacer, so now my my glasses. Now, okay, I don't know if you can hear me, guys. Now my glasses are touching. Now my glasses are touching the lenses. Okay, so obviously I don't want to move the headset because I need to be very careful. I don't want to scratch the lenses as they're very sensitive. So do not attempt this at home. And I have to say that with my glasses on, I do not have this effect anymore where it's two lenses. Uh, you know, as I was explaining to you, it feels like I'm actually able to see everything very clear in the middle. There's no separation, nothing. And I think it's because my glasses are giving me that much little more space uh, to be able to, 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 to see further back. So I'm about 0.5 mm away from the lenses as opposed to 1 cm away with the actual spacer on as well or when I'm using the uh, lens prescription adapters. So what I could basically do is, and I might do a separate video on this because again, the field of view for me is much better. The, it's not as tunnel vision, in fact, guys. So what you can do is you can apply some special coating on the lenses 
a bit similarly to when you're using your iPhone and you put this plastic coating thing. I have some here. I'm going to do a separate video. I'm going to show you how to apply it because then you will be able to protect your, your lenses and also take off the spacer when you're using your glasses and have more field of view. So this is really, really amazing. Let me just take everything off now and then let me transition over. There we go. So basically, guys, this is really, really cool because basically what we just found out together live here on the channel is that let me just put the microphone back. Is that you don't need um, you don't need the space or even if you have the glasses, if however, you have coated your lenses with the actual uh, special plastic thing or silicon thing or whatever. I'll, I'll show you in another video. So do make sure to hit the subscribe button, not just because you can enter to win the HP Reverb G2 and also the cyber shoes at the gaming station, cyber carpet, cyber chair and everything that goes with it. And also the 50 US dollar voucher that you can redeem against any VR game that you want on the MetaQuest store, Viveport or Steam VR store. But also because I will upload that video showing you how to add the lenses the coating on the lenses, which will really save you and make sure that you never ever get to scratch your lenses ever again during its lifetime. Amazing thing. I've done other videos about this on the channel for other VR headsets. So I'll do it for the HP Reverb D2 version 2. So guys, there you go. There you have it. You can increase your field of view even if you're wearing specs. Even if you're wearing specs, guys. Absolutely amazing. So. Guys, now it's time to give back to you because I freaking, freaking love you. Let's go and welcome some new subscribers to the channel first. So let me just transition over, go to uh, our YouTube channel. There we go. And then go to our, go to our YouTube studio, go to recent subscribers, see all, and then date subscribe. Let me just make it bigger so you can see your name. I'd like to welcome Roland Reed, David Spain, 4321LKM, Donald Wright, Daniel, Kitty Poo, MC1, Chandler Kim, Taz Dingu, Giambattista Giacchetti, and Yubidu One. Guys, you're so freaking awesome. Thank you so much. As you saw right now, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. So do reshare as many videos as you possibly can and go to the link below because of the G2 competition as there is a prerequisite there to reshare at least three of the videos on our channel, on your social media. It doesn't matter where you reshare it. Any social media will do. Uh, let's just uh, read some of the comments. All right, so Tail says Quest 3 only in 2023. Really? Talking about the Don't Buy Quest 2, one to eight gigabyte yet. Brad says, it's fantastic to see your team, you're teaming with companies. Yes, thank you, Brad. It was about the video, Squingle is mad, which was the last video we uploaded. Uh, RIP Sky says, I apologize, bro, your channel is going to grow. Oh, that would be awesome, man. That would be super, super cool. If indeed, it, of course it will grow, but hopefully it'll grow much better. Uh, Virgil Arrow sucks, distortion are really bad. Well, that's amazing to hear that uh, from someone who has a Varjo because I, I haven't got to try it, so hopefully get to try it. So thanks for your comment. Uh, Solar Resigned One says, if HP made the G2 with the 110 horizontal FOV, they would have sold triple the amount of headsets. Possibly very true. Not quite sure. Could be, but KIV, keep in view what HP are doing, guys, because it's going to be amazing in the next two years. Uh, Fraser says, Félicitations, je gagne, comment le G2 V2? Uh, so he's saying, congratulations, how do I win the G2? Just go to the link in the description below and then go and read the terms and conditions and enter to win, it's completely free, guys. Um, Kirby Pro says, where's the link in regards to the live Oculus Link Spider-Man Far From Home VR Oculus Quest uh, video? Just type Spider-Man Far From Home in your Steam VR, that's simple. Uh, Fire1311 says virtual Discord streamer app won't install. Thank you very much for your comment. I'm not quite sure how to help you because we don't have the quest anymore. Uh, but maybe someone else in the channel can help. Uh, this was about the how to install Oculus MetaQuest virtual desktop video. Uh, Opilog says, 
uh, try a Pimax 8K with an RTX 3080. I would love to. Pimax did say they might send us the future headset, the one, the standalone one, without the actual, with the inside out tracking, uh, without the actual uh, base stations requirements. So that will be absolutely, absolutely amazing. Guys, thank you so much for all your comments, your likes, your reshares. You're just amazing. Absolutely amazing, guys. I will see you in the comments below and in another video very soon. Take it easy, guys. Have an awesome Saturday. Bye for now.